Hey guys, Gary here. Thanks for checking in. Uh, today we're going to do another installment of the drill box. And uh, this was something that we came up with at the study group. And uh, actually, uh, Mike Fiore pretty much brainstormed this. And then we tweaked it a little bit. And uh, well, I was thinking about it on the drive home last night from the study group. And thought of some ways to implement this into a training regimen. So uh, the drill is called the Viceroy. And it has a steel target down there at 50 yards. There is a cone at 10, 15, 20, 25, 37, and 50 yards. Uh, so we did 10 yards, five yard increments all the way to 25, one at 50, and then to split the difference between the last two so that it gets a little stretched out as you go. Uh, the deal is you start at uh, the 10 yard cone, way up there at the front, and uh, you can start from whatever position you want. We were doing low ready because we were trying a whole bunch of different guns. And uh, instead of switching holsters and shit, we would just try a new gun and start the drill from the low ready position. Uh, so I guess that's how we'll be starting it from here on out as well. And on the start command, you will take a shot. If you make a hit, you will run back five yards, turn around, go back five yards come back take another shot pow ting go back five yards take a shot pow if you miss you got to go forward to your last cone and make another sh make a shot if you miss that you go forward again we're never going to go closer than 10 because of the safety reasons on the on the distance the shooting steel uh, but you only get to move back a cone after a hit after a miss you have to move forward until you peter out at the front when you make a hit from 50 the drill is over now, when we did this, we set three targets up and I ran three people at a time uh, as an enjoyable way to have like a, a relay race. Uh, but you could do this yourself with a timer. And uh, it's gonna be big times because most of the time is gonna be spent moving. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of timers. They have a place, but uh, the, you can mark your progress uh, with the timer if you're doing it overall quicker. We're not really measuring accuracy because if you miss, it's gonna take a whole fucking lot longer. So the, the raw time back there is the is the key and then you can just log that and compare it to yourself. Uh, I'm gonna be shooting it a couple times a day and I got the Manus X10 on the gun. I have a Yeti TAC holster that uh, fits a, a TLR 7, 8, 9, I don't know, what fucking one of them little ones. It also fits it with the Manus or you, I have the one that fits on the magazine as well. But uh, it has a shot timer built into the app so that's also pretty cool i can time it as i go and i also get some more data on how this uh, manus x works so we're gonna try that here today Thank you. 